Hello South Africa, this is Lindsay Shooters, editor of Popular Mechanics magazine. Um, and today is launch day for the Huawei P20 family. P20 and P20 Pro come out today. P20 Pro is coming at you for 15,800 bucks. And the P20 Standard Edition will set you back around 11,000 Rand. Um, key features, big improvements on camera. I'm a big fan of Huawei's approach to camera technology. Um, P20 Standard Edition gets the dual camera that's been battle tested on the P10 and the Mate 10 Pro. It's a 20 megapixel monochrome unit plus a 12 megapixel RGB sensor. RGB sensor size is up by 20% over last year's models um, and the image quality is gorgeous. It's packing Leica's new color processing. So it's packing the AI features carried over from the Mate 10 Pro, but this time you can switch it off if you don't like it. So the AI will, re will recognize, automatically recognize, up to 19 different scenes. So it's like it's got your food, it knows when you're taking pictures of blue skies or sunsets or if you're on the beach. You just point your camera and it does all the settings for you and you shoot. It's as easy as that really and it works amazingly well. But P20 Pro is the one you want. That's packing the industry first triple camera setup. So it's 20 megapixel monochrome, 40 megapixel RGB and the 8 megapixel telephoto lens. So that's a three times zoom lens with an 8 megapixel sensor, color sensor. So what it enables is three times optical zoom, then Huawei do this thing called five times hybrid zoom, where they are stitching together the 40 megapixel crop plus the 8 megapixel telephoto, and they are giving you super crispy, clear, sharp images from like the other side of the world, actually. <laughs> We put it up against the Fuji X100F, which is a 24.3 megapixel sensor. It's the APS-C crop, so it's like a DSLR. Um, it's rocking a 23 mm fixed lens, which translates to about 35 mils or 34 mils actually on, full, on a full frame. You can't get anything better than that if you're shooting on street level. I, I have known many street photographer friends who are shooting in Georgia and shooting in Copenhagen, and they use this camera. And I think the P20 actually did quite well against it. We've got some lovely birds, we have like reflections, we have Jan van Riebeek, we have the mountain. In all these scenes, P20 goes toe to toe with it. Yeah, so you've read the review on poplimechanics.co.za. You're watching the video now, you've heard the podcast, and I cannot stop singing this phone's praises. If you're buying a phone in 2018, you're not going to do much better than the, P, than the Huawei P20 and P20 Pro. The best cameras on a smartphone right now.